This is Jim with A1 Repairs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. The point of the following video is to provide you an up close view of the products that we sell as if you were heading into our local hometown dealership to purchase one. With everybody shopping online, this is our attempt to bring you closer to the product rather than just viewing words on a web page. Please be sure to email or call with any questions that you may have and also like us on Facebook for the latest product and industry updates. Thanks and enjoy the video. All right, here we have the uh, PS32 chainsaw from Dolmar. Uh, Dolmar, well known for having chainsaws to put out a high RPM range. Uh, this little guy's packing 12,800 RPM. Uh, PS32, like it says, also has a 32cc cylinder displacement on it. And power wise, we're cranking out 1.8 horsepower on this one. Uh, dry weight, no bar, no chain, no gas, no oil. Uh, power head only. This guy's coming in at about 9 pounds. Now this particular saw, you can uh, spec out from Dolmar, can run anywhere from a 14 to a 16 inch bar. Uh, this saw most commonly is sold with a 14. Uh, if you want to go to the 16, typically you're going to jump up uh, one size larger. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this chainsaw and go into some of the starting features. Now it's got one switch here that operates all the functions on it. You pull all the way up, it's going to be on choke. Bring it back down in the middle, that's a run position. If you push down and hold, it'll shut the saw off and it'll auto return right back to the run position. Uh, press down all the way, it'll shut the saw off and put it in a lockout mode, almost like a safety, so you cannot restart it until you pull the trigger back up right there. Uh, there's a purge primer right here for easy starting. So, pretty nice. Let's uh, take a look here at the side. Let's go into the clutch cover on this one. There's a side mount chain tensioner right there, or a lateral chain tensioner. A pretty aggressive bucking spike for a little chainsaw. Alright. Pull the clutch cover off here. Uh, there's an inboard clutch on this one where the clutch is uh, uh, faced inwards towards the chainsaw. It uh, makes it pretty easy when you're going to uh, mount the bar and chain. It's easy to sneak the chain back around there and make sure the drive links sink right up into there. It's also pretty easy to change out the drum there if you uh, wear the gear out where the chain is. Just got to pull a clip off and you can pull that out and uh, interchange it. Rather than if you had the clutch on the outboard side, uh, then you'd have to remove the whole clutch assembly. Uh, a little more work involved when you do that. You'll notice on the side of this clutch cover, there's a line running right up the side. Uh, that's a felling mark that's on the chainsaw, and that continues all the way up over the filter hood right there and down the side of the recoil. That's good for lining up when you, uh, you're cutting in the logs or um, you know up with the timber and the trees and that to make sure you're making a good straight cut the way you want to or try to drop the tree in a certain direction. So. Uh, let's take a look at the side here. The gas and oil cap here have tethers on them, real nice to hold them on. And then if you want to drain your saw, run it dry, they pop out pretty easy. You can dump the gasoline out for easy storage, fire them up, run them dry. There is an automatic chain driven oiler um, on the 32 chainsaw here and it is adjustable right there. You can uh, go ahead and uh, take your chainsaw tool and adjust that different direction. There's an indicator gauge to tell you which direction to go positive or negative. Um, you're going to change the oiler based on temperature and the types of oil that you're running uh, to make sure you're putting out enough lubrication and also to make sure you're not putting out too much as well and wasting it. It's important um, with the bar and the chain that you keep it well lubricated so you uh, do not overheat it or stretch chains and cause more damage. There's uh, different type of bar oils that you can buy on the market. Regular bar oil is pretty easy to find. You can find it at a lot of different stores. Uh, low temp bar oil which you can use in the winter, typically like 32 degrees uh, or less, you, uh, uh, is really nice. Uh, but typically you got to go to a saw shop or a dealership in order to find something like that. But uh, it's good to have both on hand depending on what type of cut, uh, cutting you're doing, you know, for, for what the season is. The uh, PS32 chainsaw here uh, runs a 3 8 low profile chain. And uh, it's running on what I like to call a smart, uh, small bar mount. 
Uh, for the 3 8s, uh, uh, they kind of have a small, medium, and large, depending on what type of chainsaw you're buying. It all has to do with the hole spacing and the uh, rail mount right there. So, all right, uh, let's take a look at the vibration dampening on this particular chainsaw. You'll see some springs, which are right there. Those are isolation springs. And uh, what's nice about that is it isolates the engine from the operator uh, uh, chassis or platform that's on it. And uh, we're going to try to hold these pieces and move them in a direct, different direction so you can see how that works. I'm going to flip this here too. I'm going to hold the handle stationary and just move the engine. What's nice about that is um, it helps reduce a lot of the vibration that you get in your hands when you're operating a chainsaw and all the fatigue that moves up and down your arms, you know, especially when you use it for a couple hours at a time. It's very important when you're buying a chainsaw to make sure it has a good vibration dampening system so you're comfortable using it and uh, it doesn't beat you up. It makes chainsawing much more enjoyable. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, tear into the air filter cover on this guy. Alright, there's the inside right there. This has got a uh, felt filter which you can reclean. Regular soap and water works great. Um, any type of degreaser works really nice. You don't want to use anything with ammonia in it when you're going to clean it. Ammonia tends to eat away at this stuff. And then uh, quick access to your spark plug there so you can replace the spark plug. This is a dry filter. You would not run any type of oil on that. So air filter maintenance is a breeze. It's not that hard. Alright, and there you have it. Here's our PS32 chainsaw from Dolmar. Thanks for tuning in to the A1 Repairs YouTube channel.